hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so this is the part two of the vacation vlog i am sure you enjoyed part one and if you haven't already seen it there's going to be a link in the description so this is the fun juicy part of our vacation you absolutely do not want to miss it i am starting you off with a few beautiful pictures that we took along the way at different points in our journey and like i said this is the fun vlog okay this is the fun part of everything we did so you don't want to miss it enjoy morning this is um the following day it's tuesday what time is it now it's 7 18. I woke up like 30 minutes ago, but I've just been, you know, lounging. I don't want to get out of bed just yet. <laughs> and I have a bit of a headache. Anyways, yes, yeah, so this is day two. Everything is going well. Today, the weather should be a little better than yesterday. So it's going to start off cloudy, but we should get some sun, which is good which means that we can actually follow our plans and the plan for today is to go to this place called H.A.R.S. Museum now I can't remember what H.A.R.S. stands for but I'm going to look for that basically it's um, a place where you can actually tour different types of aircraft and I think it's like most of them are like military airplanes so i showed the kids yesterday and they were quite excited to go there so that's where we would be heading today much later today what they do is provide guided tours of cockpits and decommissioned airplanes including a boeing 747 plus jet engines you know so you get to get into the plane and then there's some information on their website that says um right now there's limited access to cockpit tours so i really don't know what that means i intend to call them to find out whether we would have access to that part of the tour because it would be really nice um but because of covid i guess they have some restrictions around um what areas they can tour but i think it would be really great for the kids so they'll get to see the hangars that's where the the plates are parked and, and all of that so okay and it's a bit of a distance from here not too much I think it's about 20 to 30 minutes drive which is fine I mean we're on holiday <laughs> we have all the time in the world so yeah that's it that would be the plan for today we're taking it one day and one activity at a time we don't want to wear ourselves out okay so let's see what the day brings Steer it on the ground. Also steer, steer it on the ground. And uh, the wheels, the tyres cost around about two and a half, three thousand dollars each. Tiger moth. A what? Tiger moth. Tiger moth. Tiger moth was a training aircraft that taught people how to fly. Okay. They built these um, 1935 a long mm. time ago. This one still flies. Okay. You know how a pilot walks around an aeroplane? Yeah. He checks the different things, right? Yeah. I would walk around with a screwdriver. Oh. And tighten things up in this whole thing, I think. Okay. And this is. If you touch it, be very careful. This is linen. Mm. Linen. Linen. The strength of linen. You feel more over here. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All stretched yeah. and. Yeah. They're all stretched and, 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 and reinforced them with, with some sort of. They put something over it. And why is that? It's just a, it's cheaper. Mm. Oh, it's light. Yeah. Mm. Remember, in, in those days, they weren't using rivets and all. Got you. What is this one called? Vampire. Okay, good. We're getting there. Just pay attention, okay? Ten dollars.
so guys this morning we're actually moving rooms because the hotel was finally able to extend our stay by two more nights remember that i said when we originally made the booking for this hotel it was difficult to find a place that was available for one full week and so we just had to settle for the four nights that were available but since then we've been checking all the time and thankfully the hotel has come back to say that they've got another room where we could continue our stay in for two more nights and that's why we're moving rooms but today however is jamboree action park day and as you can imagine we were all so so excited we didn't get up too much yesterday because something came up that we had to drive almost all the way back to sydney to attend to and the weather was not the best but thankfully all of that is settled right now and today being thursday we're heading out to jamboree so jamboree is the largest themed water park here in sydney and if you book online this is just a quick tip you can get cheaper tickets so don't forget that Remember I told you that we extended our stay for two days. So this is the first day of our extension, which is Friday. And um, again, weather is gorgeous and it's going to stay this way into the new year. And we're loving it. At the moment, um, you know, we didn't have anything planned for today. But we've decided right now to go out and see some of the lovely beaches around Wollongong. There's lots and lots of small coastal towns dotted all along this side of New South Wales. So it's not only Wollongong, like we're not restricted to Wollongong alone. And so this morning we've decided, actually this afternoon, because at the time of making this video, it's already past 12. So we're heading out to, I just spoke to the kids 
um, and we decided, we agreed that we want to head out to Kaima. So Kaima is another town that is a short drive from Wollongong. It's a beautiful, beautiful town. Um, so I was able to find, you know, some kid-friendly beaches that we can go see. But then we want to kill two birds with a stone. And so we are going to be looking at the little blowhole as well. There's a big blowhole and then the little blowhole. And where I found for the kids to swim at is close to the little blowhole. So we're going to wrap those two activities in one, look at the, the little blowhole, and then the kids can do some swimming in one of the beaches. Hey everyone, oh, oh my goodness, it's such a bittersweet moment right now, but let me start by saying Happy New Year, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. This is still the 1st of January, um, we've ushered in 2022, the year that we all hope to be better than the last two, right? Um, but yeah, this is our last day here at Wollongong and it's been a fantastic, fantastic experience. Um, for our last day, we headed out to Jeringong, which is a town about a 40 minute drive from Wollongong. So Jeringong, okay? <laughs> yeah. And um, Jeringong is a beautiful, gorgeous, magnificent town, I must tell you. And it was, it was something we did on a whim. So today we were just lounging. When we got up in the morning, we were just lounging. There was no plan at all. But trust me, like I thought it was, it, it wasn't quite right to not be doing something on our last full day here and just be lounging. I mean, we were going back to Sydney where we were going to be lounging all day, every day until the end of the holiday, doing nothing or doing the same things we do every day or every other day. So I thought to use that time wisely. And so we decided to go out to Jeringong. I have to talk really quickly because it's getting dark. As you can see, this is like um, 8.29. You see that? 8.29 p.m. So it's getting dark. It was something that we did much later in the day because like I said, we were just lounging around in the hotel in the morning and it was around 2 p.m. that I was like, no, this is not right. Everyone, get up, let's go, let's go, let's get ready, let's go somewhere. I looked online ahead to find a place where we could have dinner there. So I found this lovely, lovely place and um, they, they, they were they were open for dinner around 5 p.m. So by the time we were done pottering around in the house, getting ready, stopping over in town to get a few things, we needed to buy something at Kmart for my daughter, very important. And then we also had to stop to buy fuel. You know, all those little stops that end up, you know, taking your time. Um, and so we arrived in Jeringong right on time for dinner. The plan originally was to go into Jeringong and then maybe look around you know just drive around the town um probably find a place for the kids to play in like a park or something but like i said by the time we were done pottering around here <laughs> we got we got into jeringong just in time for dinner so we had dinner which was lovely at this beautiful place what was it called i think it was called the hills um the hills something something let me look for it just in case you want to head into Jeringong <laughs> and you're looking for a place to have um, something nice to eat. So it, it's this beautiful place um, overlooking the sea. So it was a really nice view and nice food as well. So it's the hill and the hill bar and kitchen the hill bar and kitchen that was where we had dinner. So we finished from dinner and then we headed into town but we didn't go too far we just headed down to the beach actually we went to this beach I don't know what that beach is called we just went to the nearest beach to us and it was a lovely 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 place so the, the, the girls um, collected some seashells we took some really great photos which I am really happy about because when we went to Kaima the other day I didn't take good photos but this time around we took really nice pictures and then we just drove around the town did some house porn I am that kind of person I'm a sucker for good looking houses and they were in abundance in Jeringong so we just drove around got a feel for the town it was like a really beautiful place 
and then we had to head back but that's kind of a summary of what we did you can see it's getting dark um, it was really nice it was really nice we're back at the hotel right now um, the kids are having dinner even though we had dinner outside but they're having something else before they go to bed and then that's it it's bittersweet the holiday is over we will not be here by this time tomorrow as a matter of fact we would have been in sydney for several hours by this time tomorrow we wake up in the morning all we need to do is pack up our stuff and we're leaving so yeah that was a quick summary of what we did today i hope you've had a wonderful holiday yourself wherever you are um, and if for nothing else you found time to actually just recharge you know time for some much needed r and r okay but like i said i am hoping that this year is that year for all of us that year you've been waiting for that year you've been hoping for okay that year where you get to smash all your goals i'll see you again maybe i'll vlog tomorrow morning um i'll vlog our departure who knows or maybe it could get crazy and we would not have the time to do so but either way, I just wanted to come on here and say it's been a lovely holiday and I'll see you again soon. Bye.